there comes a time when you have so many ideas that you want to see painted and so little time that is hard to focus on one idea. So what is the solution? Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about how to manage ideas and some tips to paint faster. Let's say we are working on a series of paintings that will be part of an exhibition. You love the ideas you have for the painting so much that you can't wait to represent them all right now. Or you are Jeff Koons and you have an army of painters in your studio that make your work. If you are, call me on the number on the screen. Jokes aside, you need a plan. Figure out what painting you will start first. Sketch it out and start the first layer. For example, I'm working on two paintings right now. The first is medium size and the second is large. I painted the first layer of the medium size quite fast. To let it dry, I started the big one. A big picture of a castle at night, quite dramatic. I painted the sky and then got back to the medium size painting until the large one dries up. It is very practical to have many works in progress. You can go back and forth through them while the layers are drying and you can see how a body of work comes together. This is very important. Now you can assess the connections between your paintings and if you achieved your desired outcome. Also, if you get a bit bored with the painting, start another one or do something else. Like I'm doing now. I'm writing this so you can use the information in your future projects. You should go for a walk. Run. Not from painting. Read a book. Or watch a movie. You get my point. Work on many paintings at once. And if you get bored, find a way to enjoy it. If I have a tough day at the studio, I try my best to continue painting. I will find a good book to listen to or a podcast. And if nothing else works, I listen to music. I prefer devouring books one by one like hot wings or broccoli if you are a vegan. Also keep in mind that you are not obligated to keep pouring work out. You are an independent artist and you can take breaks when you need to. Just remember that Picasso said that inspiration must find you working. And all of us will get frustrated while working. It is perfectly normal. We need to understand that even the masters have their struggles. There is a great video on YouTube about masters mistakes. I will leave a link in the description. To be honest, I felt so tired today that I didn't feel like painting, but I did anyway. And the current work advanced slowly but nicely. So how can you paint faster? Well, you need to be well rested and paint every day. If you are mentally and physically well and keep exercising day in and day out, you will become better every day even when you cannot see it. You will get 1% better and that is more than enough. In a year you won't believe how better you got. The idea of 1% better I took from Jordan Peterson and James Clear. Maybe I'll talk about them in a future video. Another tip would be to simplify your work. Have an idea of how you're going to execute the painting and the order of the layers that you are going to paint. I have read in a book that Gauguin was trying to convince Van Gogh to paint a fresco with him. This would have helped Van Gogh to simplify his approach. Not being able to look at the subject, he had to carry it in his mind. Look at artists' work that really simplify the image so you can understand what is essential to the picture and if there is any way to represent that image faster. A good example would be Alex Katz. His work is deceivingly simple but quite hard to achieve. Some more tips would be Use masking tape to achieve straight lines or to work on a certain area of the painting. You can leave some areas of the painting incomplete. In the previous video where I talk about stealing like an artist, I paint a large portrait. Some areas of the painting I left unfinished to let the grainy effect of the canvas come through the final image. And in that case was quite relevant since I started from a very grainy film photo. So I'll try and use this and see where it goes. One thing that I always do to speed up the process is trace my image before painting. I either copy the image or project the image on the canvas and then paint it. It helps me have a simple drawing so I can get straight to the process of painting. Use a bigger brush. It will help you cover more of the surface and make the progress faster. It is a good exercise to make a confident painting. The big strokes make the painting bold, even if it is small. A large brush will have a great impact on the painting. You will find this very enjoyable and fun. My last recommendation is to make gestural marks. Feel that paint and the movement of your hand. Not only it will feel amazing to set the paint free, but your work will be very expressive. If you want to hear more about some of these tips or want me to make a demonstration, let me know in a comment below. About the painting, I found an image from the movie Trainspotting that I really liked. That gaze convinced me, so I added the grass and the plants. The fence was an unconscious choice. I later figured when I added the pattern that the character is quite trapped. I named it, ironically, Itchy Nose. Maybe the painting is about freedom. Maybe it is just a joke. 
I hope this was useful and will help you in the future. Please give the video a thumbs up and give some feedback. I would love to hear your opinion. And subscribe if you didn't already. In the description you will find links to prints of my paintings and information on the materials used. Here's another clip that will help you become a better artist. Have an amazing day!